Trump spent the day at the U.S. southern border, but not just some photo op friendly place at, along the border. He was joined by Texas Governor Abbott at the Rio Grande Valley, where there's a massive border and humanitarian crisis underway. Now, fair warning, these next few images may be very disturbing. This heartbreaking image of an abandoned two-year-old was released today by the National Immigration Institute. Take a look at that. Look at the trash scattered all around that poor child. Cars and trucks whizzing by. Two-year-old, folks, a two-year-old. What in God's name can be going through that baby's mind? Biden's border crisis. Listen to that. It's Biden's border crisis. And who can forget this little boy, just five years old, abandoned, discarded by coyotes who fled the scene. Total disregard for this child's well-being. Biden's border crisis, five-year-old child left abandoned. Or the tens of thousands of illegal immigrants packed into the cargo areas of trucks. These scenes look more like cattle than human beings. Biden's border crisis. And those overcrowded border camps, people crammed into tiny spaces, sometimes even in cages. Again, Biden's border crisis. I'm calling it Biden's border crisis because that's exactly what it is, folks. It's a crisis, no doubt about that. It's happening at the border, and most importantly, it all started when Joe Biden was sworn into the Oval Office. Biden was sworn in on January 20th of this year. Since January, border apprehensions have skyrocketed with over 100,000 each month, and get this, the last three months have all been higher than 170,000 apprehensions each individual month. That's a whopping 6,000 illegal apprehensions per day. Now, just think about that for a minute. And that's just the ones who were caught. I can't even imagine the number of illegal crossings in any given day if you add up all the ones who weren't caught. Again, Biden's border, cross, Bi Biden's border crisis. And in order to do a fair and unbiased analysis of who is to blame for this influx, we should do some simple math. So let's take a look at 2020, for example. The same period last year, we saw a tiny fraction of the border apprehensions from this year. So in March of last year, 34,000. April of last year, 17,000. May of last year, 23,000. That means last year, there were 74,000 total apprehensions in the months March through May. Total. Now, I want to take a guess at the number of border apprehensions under Biden this year, comparing the exact same three-month period. Well, let's do the math. 530,000 border apprehensions in the same period. That's an unsubstantiated, unsustainable 715% increase. Can't keep doing it, folks. It's simple math. So this is 100% on Biden. You can't argue with the facts or the math. Even if they send Kamala Harris to the El Paso border for a photo op, and if you don't think that's what it was, take a look at this. El Paso is almost 800 miles from the heart of the immigration problem, the Rio Grande Valley. That's where the vast majority of illegal crossings happen, not El Paso. Ms. Harris only spent 90 minutes in El Paso with most of her time in the airport and not at the border. And she treated it like a joke. How did you decide that right now was the right time to make your first trip to the border? Well, it's not my first trip. I've been to the border many times. I'm the person in charge of the response. Okay. Nothing funny about that, Madam Vice President. And finally... The El Paso trip was a brief stop on her way to her vacation home in California. After leaving El Paso, Kamala Harris jetted off to California to spend the weekend with the first gentleman, Doug Emhoff. Oh, thanks for trying, Madam VP. You get an F for effort, though. One final thought, if you don't like the math, some don't. Personally, I love math. But anyway, the math isn't your thing, perhaps. Liberals, and you don't believe me that this is a Biden border crisis? Just take a look at this. An illegal caravan, one of many since Biden took office, with the illegal immigrants wearing a uniform of sorts, Biden T-shirts. So if you still don't believe me, and you don't believe your liberal lying eyes, how about you hear it directly from the horse's mouth, as the saying goes?
I just want patience and peace that we can get to the U.S. because they're having a new president versus Biden. He's going to help all the rest. Like I said, it's a Biden border crisis, period. You heard it directly from that man right there. So where Trump built a wall, Biden built a superhighway. Come on in. Where Trump put a cease and desist order on illegal things, Biden puts a welcome sign up at the border and to criminals rampaging through our streets. Time to stand up to this lawlessness, though. Time to take back America, folks. And no one says it better than President Trump himself. In his newest op-ed, he says, quote, I built the wall. Biden built a humanitarian catastrophe.